Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create flanged end swing check valve rivet family. In this video, I will create two part of family, main body and bolt nut, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are DN100 to DN300. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe accessories for family category and select valve breaks into for part type. Set and select the class number. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for DN. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 146 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for B. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for E. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the ellipse and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for D2. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D2 parameter. Click apply and OK. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to B. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 87 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for D3. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. 
Add formula for D3 parameters. Click Apply and OK. Go to Create. Select the Revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to D2. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 64 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 218 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for H. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to D. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Save the family. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 24 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension and add parameter for H1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for H1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Edit profile in left view. Draw an ellipse. Select the ellipse and move to reference plane. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for BS1. Select instance and click OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the sweep. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and assign parameter to BS1. Finish the sweep. Go to front view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Check in 3D view. Go to Family Type. Go to Manage Lookup Table. Import the CSV file. And click OK.
Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Keep type and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm value of nominal diameter for default. And click apply. Add a new parameter for bolt size. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for BS parameters. And click apply. Add formula for BS1 parameters. And click apply. Add formula for D parameters. And click apply. Add formula for D1 parameters. And click apply. Add formula for DN parameters. And click apply. Add formula for E parameters. And click apply. Add formula for H parameters. And click apply. Add formula for L parameters. And click apply. Add formula for B parameters. And click apply. Add formula for B1 parameter. And click apply. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for HD1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for HD. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for HD parameters. And click apply. Add formula for HD1 parameters. Click apply and OK. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to D parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 55 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to BS parameter. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. This is created bolt head with washer family which parameter controlled by lookup table. I will use and load this created family into this main family. 
you can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to NUT. Select instance and click OK. Associate NUT size parameter to HD. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Select the family and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. To create bold nut group family. Open the new family. Select the generic model face space and open it. Insert and load this created family into main family. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Assign nut size parameter to nut size. Select instance and click OK. Select family and array. Select radial, set 6 number, last point, place at intersection point and array. Select the array and set 360 degrees array distance. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for K. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Associate the material parameter to nut material. Assign K parameter to K. Select instance and click OK. Associate nut size parameter to BS. Go to family type. Add formula for K parameter. And click apply. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace blue color material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select the connector and link to the each other. Select pipe connector and assign to nominal diameter parameter. Set K coefficient for loss method and global for system classification. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Select the family and check in 3D view. OK. Flange and swing check valve family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.